time that uh, we had this out I between the three of us. One for this one for yeah, 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 cut it out now. Hey, 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 <laughs> cut it out. Come on. Hey, yeah. Jeez. Come on. Cut it out. Play the image, man, and we got to play the game. Come on, relax. Oh, yeah. Chill out. All right. Okay. Okay, we'll do the happy family shtick one more time. But after the show's done, Williams, you are dead. Pow. Zoom to the moon, Olsen. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, come on, we're not in short. Yeah, hey, Security! Security! Security. Kenny wasn't like the other kids. Remote control. TV mattered. Nothing else did. Remote control. Joe said yes, but he said no. Remote control. Now he's got his own game show. Remote control. And now it's his basement, it's his rules, it's his game show, the quiz master, Spanky, Jammy Master, I'm 72 whooping, Jam Spanky, head over! Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Carl, Isha, Steve, how, how you doing? doing? How are you? Thanks a lot. Um, needless to say, I've probably waited my, my entire life for this moment, and, and it's here, and and let's do it. Let's meet our very special guest for the day, playing this game. No ordinary uh, contestants. We have the Brady Kids today, right here. First of all, Eve Plum, who, as you know, played Jan Brady. Jan, today, will be playing for the Historic Oaks Foundation charity. In the middle, next to Eve, is Barry Williams. <laughs> Barry Williams, of course, played Greg Brady. Barry Day will be playing for the Adam Walshaw Resource Center and filling it out on the end. Playing bass from San Francisco. No, on the end. <laughs> Susan Olsen, who of course played the youngest Brady, Cindy Brady. Cindy will be playing for the Greenpeace organization today. And now we have to decide who is in control. Let me lift up the giant mythical bob head and take out our control question. Brady's, listen carefully. Here we go. For five points and control of the game. How many times did Mike Brady get Carol pregnant? That is Eve. None. None, right! Eve, you have five points control. We come back. It's Brady against Brady. Let's see what happens. Hi, MTV for your services. How can I help you? Oh, I was talking to somebody there earlier about being a patient. And they hung up on me like that. Somebody hung up on you? I used to always be an MC. Oh, uh, you want to be an MC? You have a pen and I'll give you the address, okay? Watch this. All right, it's Watch MTV this. Networks. Watch this. German Star Origins. Right? I'm much more talented than who you got on. Excuse me, sir. Watch this. You want me to listen to it, right? Uh -huh. so, uh, before I listen to the track. Let me give you our address. This. Let me give you our address. Watch okay? this. I can't watch it. I'm on the phone. I can't Hello watch it. I can't speak to the phone. Hello, my honey. Hello, my sunshine girl. Hello, baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> Sir, you want that? You Thank called? You. you want to? Okay. Back and ready to play the game. This is how we do it. It's nine channels. You guys pick a channel by hitting your little buzzer, you know, I'll call on you. You answer the question, and of course, the person that gets the most right goes into the big wheel, and hopefully you'll get five grand headed towards your charity. Eve, yo, Eve, you're in yeah. control, and, uh, and you have a lead. Go ahead. I'd like uh, channel eight, please. Channel eight. How dumb can you be? <laughs> These are the easiest questions we could think of. Let's see how dumb you guys can be. Here we go, five points. Who was president when Puerto Rico became a state? Buzz in and tell me who was president, Eve. Puerto Rico isn't a state. That's right, five points. <laughs> you got to get up pretty early to fool the middle Brady girl. That's for sure. Go ahead, Eve. Um, I'm going to be daring and try Channel 9. Channel 9, no witness news. Okay, look up here on the screen. Which of these headlines actually appeared in the Louisville Courier Journal and Times on September 26th, 1976? Yes, we have a very bored research department. Here we go. Was it number one, 
Barry Williams, is the next Elvis? <laughs> Number two, Ann B. Davis says, aliens ate my shrubs. Or maybe number three, success is hooker, wait and see, says Eve Plum, which actually appeared in the Louisville Courier Journal Times, September 26, 1976. Susan. Number three. Number three, right! <laughs> right, Eve. Uh, Susan. I know Susan about this girl. <laughs> you know that's an actual headline? I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Susan. Three, we right. Five points. Gene Gene, the dancing machine, and the unknown comic were two mainstays on what elegant and understated game show? They were mainstays. Gene Gene, the dancing machine, and the unknown comic. What was the name of that game show? Barry. The Gong Show! Yes, five points. Go ahead, Bear. I'd like to stick with number three. Okay, staying with reruns. Ten points. On their sitcoms, Dick Van Dyke and Bob Newhart each had a friend named Jerry with an oral fixation. What business were both Jerry's and Eve? Dentistry. Right, ten points. <laughs> Eve, 20 points. Susan, 10, Barry, 5. It's a close game. Uh, uh, <laughs> shadow fly, please. <laughs> Dead, alive, or Indian food? Just tell me simply which it is, dead alive or type of Indian food for five points. Gold in my ear. Susan. Dead. Yes, she's dead. <laughs> Prime Minister of Israel died in 1978. Five points. Moves you into second place. Okay, right, Susan. Um, I'm going to take uh, Channel 6. Channel 6, cartoons. <laughs> five points. Imitate the way Tweety says, or what he says when he sees Sylvester the cat. Eve. Thought I tore a putty tat. Yes, five points. <laughs> All that classical acting training paid off, huh? <laughs> uh, channel one. Channel one, Brady Physics. <laughs> yes, sir. Time to learn physics the fun way, the Brady way. Here we go, five points. Bobby enlists in the British Navy and commits an indiscretion with the Admiral's favorite cabin boy. If he's drawn and quartered, how many pieces is he in, Eve? Four. Yes, five points. <laughs> 30 points now. Go ahead, Eve. Um, I'm going to go with channel two. Channel two. Wheel of Torture. Yes, sir. Eve, here's how it goes. It's time to play Colin's dreaded Wheel of Torture. You can lose 10 points. Or you can submit to Quinn's sick, demented, whimsical, torturous whims and gain 10 points. What do you want to do? I'll take the torture, darling. He's going for the torture. All right, Alicia. Give it a spin. Where will it land? Purple Nerfall, Sleeper Hall, Indian Burn. You got to give Eve Plum a wet willy. I know, I know. How did it feel? How did well, it feel? It was like everything I always dreamed it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Eve. A hard ten, ten points the hard way. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try Channel 4. She looks a little stunned. Oh, it's Casey's big paw. Casey has taken that big paw of his and taking it to the streets coast to coast. Now he's back with his lovely wife, Jean, and here's the result of Casey's big Paul. Casey? How you doing, Ken? <laughs> Casey. I brought my lovely wife, Jeannie, out with me to help me with the board here, and I'm gonna ask the following question. We surveyed college students from the New York area, and we asked them uh, which of the two Brady kids, since they weren't really related, were most likely to uh, do it. Which of the two Brady kids you think, when asked by college students, most likely to do it? Barry. Greg and Marsha. Greg and Marsha. Greg and Marsha? Greg and Marsha's the number one answer. Yeah! Ten points! <laughs> we, won't, we won't ask how you research that answer, know. Barry. <laughs> Casey? Uh, yes, Ken. You want to tell us what else was up there? 
Well, I guess I could try, Ken. Number two was Cindy and Bobby. Number three, Marsha and Bob. Number four, Bobby and Jan. And number five, Cindy and Ty. Thank you, Casey! Okay, very... Excuse me, that's that's my mother. Yeah, Ma? I was trying all my cooking shit and trying to put tiger in the microwave. Oh, setting on slow. Slow home, I guess. All right, that can only mean one thing. It's time for a snack break. While well, you guys are taking a little snack. <laughs> Let's check the scores. Eve's got 40, tied for second. Susan and Barry with 15. Round two's coming up. And the Brady left standing will get to do this. Hey, game, they're not going to take anything, but we're going to donate 5,000 Slammy Jammies to charity in the name of today's big win if they answer all 10 questions correctly. Right, that's going to be soon. Play remote control continues. That's soon. Back to the only game show where I alone decide who wins or loses remote control. Thank you, Colin. All right, we're back. What a first round. E Plum, i.e. Jan Brady, racked up 40 points. Barry, i.e. Greg, and Susan, i.e. Cindy, 15 each in second place. Barry, you're in control. Let's go to channel number three. Channel three. Playhouse Internacional. Spanning the globe to bring you the worst in television acting. And here it is. The best of the worst. No pa, Socrates. Feta cheese, Agamemnon. Oh. The blend. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Pegasus, Hermes, Scarf, Aristotle. Tatu. <laughs> what show are they talking about, Barry? Fantasy Island. 20 points. Very good. <laughs> Okay, Barry, you're in control. What do you want to do? All right, let's go with number three again. Okay, one more time. This time it's for 30 huge points. I love these dramatic rings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bonjour, Professor. Oh. On va ton petit crayon. Aha. Oh. Eh bien, Marianne, mon crayon is one. La Palace Versailles, a steak frit uh, to Mrs. Howell, a ginger. Ah, deux grand men. Barry again. That would be Gilligan's Island. 30 points. <laughs> Barry, you're in the lead. Go All ahead. Right. Let's try channel four. Channel four, black and white television. Yeah. Classic TV. The old days. 10 points. Superman was faster than a speeding bullet and more powerful than what? Barry. Locomotive. Yes, 10 points. <laughs> Stay with black and white. <laughs> you were just playing possum in that first round, weren't you? <laughs> 20 points. George Burns had a hit TV show in the 50s with his real-life wife. Name her, Eve. Gracie Allen. Yes, 20 points. <laughs> oh, Susan, what's wrong? What is it? Show for heaven's sake, you can buck up and clap. I don't want to lose. Oh. I'm going to go with channel one. Channel one, prime time. Maybe this is more up your alley. I don't think you were born yet when they had black and white TV. That's Here we right. go. Yeah. Ten points. Yeah. Okay, on At the Movies, Roger Ebert's the fat guy. Who's the other guy? Susan. Gene Siskel. Yes, ten points. <laughs> All right, Susan. Okay, um, I'm going to go with channel nine. Channel nine, really bad TV. These are questions about TV shows that are worse than Three's Company. That's the only rule on this channel. Here we go, 10 points. Robert Blake made an awful TV comeback as tough-talking priest in a sinfully stupid show called Helltown. Eve? Sandy, Eve. And it was Eve. really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, she's right! No. But he's still best known for playing which TV cop of the 70s, Barry or Susan? Susan. Beretta. Yes, Beretta! Yay! 10 points. All right, Susan, on the comeback trail. Okay, I'm going to take channel two. Channel two, just say no. Channel full of stars who said yes when they probably should have said no, huh? I guess we've all learned our lesson somewhere along the road. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, here we go. Ten Me. points. Which three men and a baby star got a gold watch from his dad for not drinking, smoking, or swearing until he turned 21? Barry. Tom Selleck. Yes, 10 points. 
Man, man. I almost thought it was you, Colin. <laughs> okay. Right, go watch four drinking smoking. Probably a lot. I think he, he did it. Barry. Yeah. Let's try Channel 6. Channel 6. Brady Network. I hate when I miss these. Here we go. You guys better get this right. Here we go. Ten points. On the very Brady Christmas special, which original Brady kid actor didn't appear? Barry. Uh, where is she? Where is she? Susan Olsen. Right, Susan Olsen. <laughs> Ten points. We tried, Susan. Okay, go ahead, Barry. Listen, it's, it's all in the name of plugging. We'll stay with six. <laughs> Here we go. 20 points, Brady Network. Name the four-eyed, ugly cousin who lived with the Bradys for the last couple of shows. Susan. Cousin Oliver. Oliver, all right. 20 points. Go ahead, Susan. Okay. Oh. Oh. I guess we have to bid those golden curls goodbye. Goodbye, Susan. It's like losing a member of your family, isn't it? <laughs> Gary, Eve. It feels, you know, you know, it feels just like Christmas again. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be great if we had that. What was that other actress's name? I don't know who played her in there. Like, what was it? Uh, Jennifer Runyon. Jennifer, all of a sudden, the chair came home. Jennifer Runyon was in there licking a chicken bone, you know? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Time to play Think Real Fast. 30 seconds, 10 points each. This will decide the game and what happens to your charities. Today we're going to play Which Brady Did It? It's easy. I'll mention something that was done by a Brady Bunch character, and you tell me which character did it. For example, if I said Kiss Davy Jones, you would say Marsha. And remember, Alice, Sam, and Tiger are included, too. Here we go. Get ready. Let's have a clock. Got caught smoking. Great. Barry. Greg. Right, I have to call on you. Yes. Loved, a, <laughs> loved a boy who only liked bugs. Eve. Jan. No, Barry. <laughs> Peter. No, Marcia. <laughs> Help me. Owned Kitty Carry All. Eve. Cindy. Yes, stole Kitty Carry All. Barry. Tiger. Yes, had sex with Mike. Eve. Carol. Yes, <laughs> hung dead cows in his freezer. Eve. Sam. Yes, was afraid of heights. <laughs> no! You did it, buddy! Bobby. Congratulations! Bobby. You're going towards that big old thing, 115 Eve. Thanks a lot. Gary, in just a minute, you'll be playing for that five grand for your charity because we're going to be strapping you into the bed. And if you do it, you know what happens. That's right, Ken. These folks are playing for charity, and today's winner is going to get 5,000 bucks donated to their favorite nonprofit organization. No! Oh, look, the joke continues. Let it continue. Well, it's better. Yes, sir, same as it ever was. Just it's like in the old days, it's Greg left standing. And here he is, strapped into the big old bed of Jeopardy. Now, Greg, this is how we're going to do this. We've got 10 TVs, 10 questions. For each question you answer correctly, you win hard cash. The more you get right, the more money you win. And when you finish, I'll stop the wheel. If you land on one of the screens that says grand prize, you automatically win $5,000 for the Adam Walsh Child Resource Center, which, Resource Center, which is your All charity right. today. We are also, by the way, donating $1,000 to Eve Plum and Susan Olson's charities, respectively. How do you feel, Barry? You ready? Think it out of yours? Ready? Starting to like this. Don't Ladies? Like this, Join me. Uh, you all set, Barry? All set. Yeah, did, did you eat before you uh, got on your... Uh, Don't your... remind me. Okay. Okay, Eve, you got your hand on the thing. Okay, you all right? You today, let me ex let me just explain what we're going to do today. You're you know giving me? her the lever? Yeah, it's, yeah, they've been, you know, apparently there's some pent-up frustration from <laughs> <in> the game. <laughs> Not all TV characters were lucky enough to grow up with five brothers and sisters. They're bare. Many were only children. While you're spinning, I'll name one of these sad TV kids, and you tell me the show they were on. For instance, if I said Dennis Mitchell, you would say... Dennis the Menace. Right. Okay? Good luck. Okay. Eve, give him a yank. 
<laughs> okay. See you, Barry. Number one, Bam Bam Rubble. Flintstone. Yes. Number two, Gloria Bunker. Don't know. All in the family. Number three, Lionel Jefferson. The Jefferson. Yes. Number four, Potsy Weber. Happy days. Yes. Number five, Lamont Sanford. The Sanford and Son. Yes. Number six, Little Ricky Ricardo. Uh, I love Lucy. Yes. Number seven, Eddie Haskell. Uh, uh, leave it to Beaver. Yes. Number eight, Opie Taylor. Uh, 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 pass it. Okay. Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. Number nine, Laverne and Shirley. Yes. <laughs> Number 10, Oscar Madison. The Odd Couple. Yes. You missed only two. Stop the lever there, Eve. Let's see where he lands. Yes, you did it. $5,000 to the Adam Wall Trout Resource Center. That's the most control. So like I was saying, Carl, I'm having this great dream. You know what a dream?